So my case study had to do with learning about track and growth in the visual arts. That really wasn't a model for me to follow. And what I had to do was I had to develop an actual tracking to find out from a pre-assessment what my students knew when they came to me. And I developed uh, several different ways of looking at that. Tracking growth in the visual arts is a lot different than it might be doing weekly vocabulary tests in an English class. And so when I tracked student growth, I used photography, video, I used the new Animoto program, and um, we got to actually watch the, the progress. The students loved it because they got to use their cell phone and they got to take pictures of their progress. They would send me pictures that they took in classroom as well as sending them from home. Um, watching them grow and change through that is totally amazing. And tracking it, um, I developed um, a chart that the student tracks themselves. So each week they go ahead and they take a proficiency test and it is elements and principles and then they track their score and the students at first none of them thought they were going to learn all of those elements and principles but by the end every last one of the kids in the class developed mastery which means they all got a hundred percent um, so it was it was a wonderful thing for me to get to see and it's one of the things that I tracked I also included in my story um, a student that went away to college and came back and told me that what she learned in her freshman art class was a question that the professor actually asked them in real life and that is why are certain artists popular over other artists and she knew how to talk about that and talk about the uniqueness of each and every artist.